Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Web Squadron. We're going to be looking at timelines. Now, a timeline can be vertical or horizontal, and it's where you're going to show a sequence of events, what happened in your history, or what's led you to this point now, or what's your experiences. Great for CVs, about pages, you know, you can use it in so many places. Now, what a lot of us tend to do is we use timelines that come within third-party plugins. So um, there's loads out there. I've used it on one of my clients' websites where I used a timeline widget. Oh, just make sure my video is still present there. Float on screen. There we go. Yeah. So you can see here, it's just a very basic timeline, okay, just showing uh, what this person's done. One of the drawbacks to some of these widgets is that a lot of them are free. But if you want to change the icon or remove the icon or do a little bit of, you know, jiggery pokery with the placement and how it looks, you've got to get the pro version of these plugins. And even then, even when you get the pro, you are again still limited as to what you can do. And I always find when something limits my creativity or achieving what I or the client wants to have on the screen, it gets on my nerves a little bit. So I thought about can we do something where we create a timeline using Elementor, but without any third party plugin and without any CSS code? And yes, we can. So let's go around, let's go around, let's have a go at doing it. Great, okay, great. I don't know why I'm saying great. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, the very first thing I'm gonna do is um, add in a really simple image and it will become clear as to why I've done that. If I just go to select file, I'm going to add in this grey dot. This grey dot, it's not even a dot, it's a square, sorry. You could create it in Canva, Paintbrush, anything. It is nothing. It's just a 40 by 40 pixel. You know, you could just fill a page in and then just take a snippet of a little bit of that. That's all you've got to do. Nothing fantastical. Once that is loaded in, I am going to edit it and I'm just going to set this to be, scale it to just be 5 pixels by 5 pixels because I just need it to be a tiny little dot. There you go, look, there's the dot. See it there, squint and you'll see it. Why am I doing that? It will become clear. Okay, right, let's just come out of that. That's all safe, yep, that's safe, right. Let's go to pages and we'll just add a new page. You know, this is all textbook right now and we're gonna call it timeline. Edit with Elementor. Okay, right, okay, right, let's do a timeline. Dead, dead simple. Now, like I said, on some of the widgets, they give you the option of either having like um, like using both sides. So you'll have some, you'll have a, like a, a timeline entry here, then one here, then one here, then one here. Or you'll have them all on one side, but or you'll have them all on the right side. What you don't get is the option to have like, well, do it how you want. Also, you are limited as to what you can show. So you can have an image, you can have some text. Some of them allow a button, not all of them. But what if you want to add social sharing icons? What if you want to add a video? What if you want to add a template from somewhere else? You can do templates as well, but what if you wanted to add it on the fly? We're going to handle all of that. So the very first thing we're going to do, okay, is we're going to add three columns. In the central column, I'm going to add that dot, okay? So I'm going to go over here, uh, sorry, I'm going to go to my uh, column and I'm going to go to style, and um, I'm going to add in that image. There you go, there's the dot. Okay, and we're gonna insert that in. So all I've done is added in the dot, nothing more, okay? I'm then going to just change this to be center center. I mean, I'm just gonna leave it as scroll. Now, I'm gonna come back to this one. No, let's do it now. So the repeat, at the moment, the reason it's filling that entire space column up, even though it was five pixel by five pixel, is because it's repeating all over the place. If I do repeat X, I get a line going that way, okay? So if you're trying to do like a horizontal timeline, which I don't think looks good on a screen, I always think that if you have a lot of entries, you want to go vertical. Personal preference, go for what you want. But if we go for repeat Y, we now have a line like so. I mean, that line is is a nothing line at the moment. It's not even a dot, it, because if I was to do this, you're not even gonna see it properly. Look, there it is, that little squitch there. So when we start adding things in, that will become important, but we now have a thin line. What I'm now gonna do is shrink the middle column 
because my content's going to be on the left or the right hand side. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just set this layout and for the purposes of this screen we'll just set it to be about a thousand just so we can see everything. Okay, update section and then we're going to go to this column here and I'm going to drag it until I get to about 45 on the right hand side and about 45 roughly yeah on the left hand side as well it's up to you I mean you can make them closer but if you start to add on icons or text in the middle of your line you don't want your columns to be too close you want to have a bit of space for it to breathe and to be visible okay stay with me this is going to work this you're going to love this okay in the left column we're going to add a image so let's just add that in like so we're going to put it as a full and for now that image we're going to pick this one here there we go so hopefully we fill all of that column out great that's fine then what i'm going to do is add a header in below like so um i might want to you know go to my layout and set the widget space to be a zero and then i can totally control the the spacing between the image and the header so now i go to my header i go to my margin and i'm just going to give it about a 10 like so we'll pretend there is a proper header in there and then i could of course add some text in as well below and again i could go in go to my advanced go to my text and i could increase that as well you know again control however you want it to look what i could also do is add in a button i'm just adding things in just to show you how it works so there we go we've added in a button as well then what i'm going to do on my column is go well go to my column i'm going to go to style and I'm going to go to border and I'm just going to click box shadow. I'm not going to change it now. I'm just added in a box shadow. Go back to my column, go back to advanced. And uh, if I add any padding in like so, it's going to do it for the image as well. So if you want to go for a certain look, go for it. But rather than doing that, what I'll do is I'll go to my um, header and I'll just add in some padding for the right and left. So I'm just going to add in about 20 and 20 like so. Do it on the text as well. 20, 20, da, 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 da. and we might as well do the button as well. Okay, so I'm just doing really basic stuff here. Again, like I say, I'm not doing anything amazingly fantastical at the moment. So we're just doing a really rough, rough layout of, of an item. Okay, now on the right hand side, I could add in another column or leave it blank or I could like add in a totally different image or even a video. I could put a video in there, you know, um, I could uh, I could put a, a short code in there. I could put a Google map in there. You know, I'm just saying you could put whatever you want, wherever you want. Right now in the middle column or where we have the line, can you see as I added in content, the line got bigger? OK, now at the moment there is nothing in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to add in, I could add in an icon, okay? And, you know, once you start to mess around with, you know, is it in the middle or the bottom or the positioning of it, how you want it to be, you know, um, I mean, I, I can add in multiple icons. It doesn't just have to be one. So let's just duplicate that. I can add whatever I want into there. Whereas these timeline widgets with these third party add-ons won't always give you these options to do that. Now, maybe I don't want to have an icon. OK, so let's just get rid of that. Let me just move myself away to the side. Right, OK, what if I want to add in some text? Well, you could do that. You could now add in like a, a mini header, whatever. You know, obviously, you know, you might change this and say 2021. And then you might do the background of that. Obviously, again, I am sorry if it feels like I'm rushing this a little bit, but I'm just trying to get across how it works. Um, you know, obviously change your font, your style, your border, have it as a radius, a circular, you know, change the sizing of it, etc. So, you know, I could go for let's add in 20 and 20 and, you know, whatever you want to do, you can do here right now. Right? So you could, if you want, you know, modify this um, just to look a certain way. OK, um, let's just do that. Let's just do that as well. OK, now at the moment, notice that even though I've done 555, it's more to the right hand side. And what that's telling me is that my 5% uh, or whatever I've got in the middle isn't big enough. But when you view it on like the full width, it's still not big enough. So what we'll do is we'll shrink the size. So I'm going to go now for about 44 and we'll go for a 44 on this side as well. Now, when I view it on a big screen, 
that's now looking okay but what I will do is just go in and I'm just gonna modify the why is that why is that not picking it up why is that not picking it up oh sometimes I can be really really silly do you know that so I've just got to make sure like uh, my um, content there we go that's why Urgh. I get this so wrong sometimes anyway so you can go into the styling and like I've said you know it's up to you how you want to mess around with it etc so what we now have is a an entry on the left hand side and we got some like a year identifier you could put the month the year you could even just put a word you know, starting or whatever, however you want to do it. And you now have control over how wide and big that section is. Let me just undo that, put that back there. Now, what if we then want to um, duplicate that? Well, you just duplicate it. But I would always say before you do that, what you want to do is just, we'll hit update, is just view this in the mobile mode. So we'll just put this up to about three, seven, eight, roughly, something like that. Anyway, because because what now happens is, is that how is this going to look in the mobile? So we can now see that our button is looking massively big there. So, you know, you're going to want to like mess around with your button sizing or your text, etc. So you might want to go to something like, I don't know, positioning. Sorry, not button. That's a header. And if I just put custom, it's going to shrink it. I then go to advanced and now I might go, I don't know, 10 and 10 and, you know, whatever you want to do. Always do a bit more on the left. Is it a bit more on the left? There you go. It's always weird how when you do this with custom, you've got to add a bit more on the left than you do the right. I never I never understand why. But anyway, look, I've made that bigger. I'm now just going to go to my column. So for the column for that line, OK, I'm going to go to my advanced, OK? And I'm going to put in about 30 and 30, just so I now control the height of that line. Because when you're viewing it on a, and also like, you know, look, you know, in terms of your uh, your column here, this is where now you may want to just add in a bit of padding, because otherwise you can't really see, sorry, not that, not padding, margin. You want to do it on the margin, okay? Because otherwise you can't really see the content. Um, you know, add in a bit of space there, you know, kind of thing, you know, mess around with it, get the look that you're after. Let me just show you what we have at the moment. We've got an entry with an image, button, text, another button within there if you so want, social sharing icons, videos, accordions, you could add whatever you want. This is elemental at the end of the day. And then below it, we've got a date entry. Now, for the mobile version, it doesn't work for me to have that date entry below. In fact, I want to have the date entry above. So on the desktop, it's fine. It's it's okay there. I don't mind about that. But um, for the mobile version, I'm going to want it to go the other way. So what I would do is on the mobile version, this is where you go to advanced, go to responsive and reverse the columns. So now it starts with the date above. And then you go back to your column, go over here and get rid of the top. So we don't need any padding at the top. We want it to start like that. OK, so on the desktop, we're not so bothered. You know, you might be you might want to mess around with it so you don't have the line above there as well. But I'm just getting across how how this all works. OK, I'm just going to go to this column and I'm just going to add in a bit of padding here because um, I've realized that it look, it doesn't look so good if we don't have that. In. There we go. Okay, so we got the spacing around the bottom. What you then do is you just duplicate this like so. And then what you do is you swap them over. So I'm just going to swap this button over here. I'm going to pick this one up, put this in the middle. I'm going to change this one to say 2022. I could change this image now to be, let's just go for this image here. That's me, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. It's far too big an image. It is too big. It does not need to be that big. All right, let's just make it that big like that. You could change your entries again on like, you know, any one of these sites here. I mean, uh, what should we add? What should we add? Oh, let's add in a little gallery. Maybe not a great idea because that's not got anything in it. But we could add in, um, what should we go for? What should we go for? Well, let's, let's just put Google Maps in. Let's just put Google Maps in for now. Okay, right. So when we're now viewing this on a page, Look at this. We have a timeline and you can mess around with the, the padding of the line if you want to create more space. 
Okay, so look, if I go over here and I go to this column, so if I want to add a bit more spacing from the top, I'll go to that column. And what I'm going to do is actually just increase these. If I start to, well, if I just put in 100, I'm just going to across how this works. Okay, you can now see we have a lot more breathing space between the top one and the next one there. And look, I, I could go on and on and on about this and go into more and more depth, but this is basically a timeline we're creating on our site. Um, and you could obviously clean it up, you know, you could add in, um, you could add something in at the top here, maybe. Um, you know, you, you might want to get rid of the line. So as soon as I've clicked like here, zero, zero, it's now right at the top. But then what happens is it does remove all the padding around as well. So what I could now do is um, what I've just basically done is get rid of it at the top. OK, it's now. Sorry, let me just repeat myself. The vertical line is top. The advanced for that column is zero, zero, zero. There's five and five on the left and right for some padding. And what I could now do is for the top, I could actually just position it. So I'm now just going to like, you know, pull it down to where I want. We'll go for 100. Anyway, look, you, you, you can mess around with it to get, get the exact look. So what we now have is we have something like this going on. OK, remember, we, we, revert, we reversed the column. So we have it at the top. But, if you, but on the, one, the bottom, that's not working now because it's now kind of reversed there as well. So what we got to, because we changed it from a left to right to a right to left. So just go in. Go to your advanced, go to your responsive and undo that um, at the moment. And this is where like if you do have two columns in it can work against you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get rid of this widget over here. I'm going to uh, go to my column over here, add in about 30 at the top like so. And then what I'm going to do is because I hope this is making sense because in our desktop we've got column, timeline and column here. When we go to the mobile, there is the column. So I'm going to go over here, go to advanced and I am going to just hide that from view. So when we now view this as a mobile, we have a timeline. Look, I hope that makes sense because then what you would do is as you start to work through is you would just basically go, all right, now I want to. I mean, you probably want to work with this one because that one's had the line removed. So I would say you duplicate it, um, move that one around to go over there, move that line to go over there, like so. And then you change the content. And the great thing is, is that is you could, if you want, get completely rid of the image. So in some of them, you have an image and some of them you don't have an image. And like I said, you could, you know, uh, let's just add in a toggle. For instance, you know, you, you could add you could add something else in there. So it might be you say um, um, started a brand new job or you went to work somewhere to do something and you could have down here skill sets, things learned, things gained or qualifications, whatever you can. You can make your timeline so much more interactive. And I really do think the fact that you could have it and then you could add in, say, a video in as well. So maybe there's. A memory, something that happened 10 years ago, you want to add it to your timeline, you've got a video recording of it. Ka ching! You can now put it on. So look, I hope I hope that all made sense. Like you can now create your own timeline on Elementor. No CSS, no third-party plugin widget, nothing wrong with them. But hey, keep it all in Elementor. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.